Hi, I'm Jack Hill, and I'm going to introduce a movie called Battle Beyond the Sun, which was originally a Russian science fiction picture that Roger Corman purchased and hired Francis Coppola to turn it into a movie that would be suitable for American drive-in audiences. Francis had this wonderful idea for the monsters. One would look sort of like, like a penis, and the other would look sort of like a vagina, and uh, uh, that was supposed to be something, I don't know, but the audience all thought it was very funny. The, the scenes got big laughs, which is, I'm not sure if what that Francis had that in mind, but um, Roger certainly didn't. Okay, Francis's job for Roger in this movie was to take over this Russian science fiction picture, use all the great special effects, but turn it into a horror movie with some kind of monsters at least, and giving the whole thing an entirely new story. Well, Francis called me in to help out with the photography and some other matters, and that was my first job with Roger Corman, an education in itself. The monsters were shot on the cheap on a soundstage in Hollywood, and mercifully kept pretty dark so that you wouldn't see them too well. Most of the rest of the picture was made up of the redubbed Russian footage. But my fondest memory of working on this project was setting up a camera on a tripod in a Volkswagen convertible and going to Pasadena on the day of the Rose Bowl parade. We needed shots of a lot of people in bleachers waving little flags, one flag for one nation in the story and another flag for the opposing nation. We drove up in front of the bleachers just ahead of the parade and Francis got out of the Volkswagen carrying a bunch of little flags, and he yelled at the people that we were from UCLA making a student film, and would you all please just take these little flags and wave them and cheer? Well, it worked primo. Great shot. Then we moved on a ways and repeated the stunt with a different group with the other flags. I got the shots, and they were great. But I'll never forget that look of terror on Francis's face when he glanced back at me just as he got out of the car to run up to the bleachers. I don't know if I could have done that myself. You gotta credit Francis as having something more than just talent.